Joey Wenz made his official MLB debut against the Minnesota Twins. You might remember him from the spring training video versus Pittsburgh. I decided to keep him at the MLB level, and after his debut, he'll likely stay up in the majors for the rest of the season and hopefully, and obviously, remain up here from this point forward. Now, Wentz had a bit of a shaky start, I would say. In three pitches, he gave up his first hit of his MLB career to Simmons, the first batter up for the Twins. Now, Herreras came up next, and Simmons decided to steal second, and he was ruled out, tagged out by Nico Goodrum at second. Here's the replay. If you take a look here, it was a high throw to Goodrum, but he was able to get it down just in time to tag out Simmons. It doesn't look exactly like an out, but I'm not going to complain, so take you know take it for what you will. Now, Herreras is still up, 0-2 count, and Wentz just throws a beautiful inside strike to Herreras really inside and that would be his first major league strikeout so thank you Arez. you gave him his first career strikeout and what is likely a huge confidence booster now nelson cruz was up next to bat and he would pop this up ramos just happily walks underneath it and catches it there at home plate ending done he was able to get it all done within 10 pitches too so i was really happy about that now, our offense did score three runs in the bottom of the first inning, but we're not here to talk about offense. We're here to talk about Joey freaking Wenz, baby. That's all we're here for right now. That's what these quick bits are all about. Now, Miguel Sano, the leadoff batter for the Twins in the second inning, and he would get struck out as well. That makes two career strikeouts now for Joey Wenz. And now, up next was Garver. He would force a 3-0 count on the change ball right there outside of the box. Now, 3-0 count, Garver takes this one, fastball in the middle, 93 mile per hour. Wins again, 3-1 count, throws it inside, Garver swings, fouls it off, now full count. Wins, down low, curveball, Garver swings, misses it completely. He's probably pissed at himself, that would have been a walk. In the third inning, Luis Herreras is up to bat, full count, two outs. Herrera swings and grounds out right in front of Joey Wins. And he throws it to Miguel Cabrera for the final out of the third inning. In the fourth inning, Josh Donaldson's the leadoff man for the Twins. Wentz throws. Donaldson fouls it off. A one count. Wentz throws again. Donaldson fouls it off again. Now with the 0-2 count, is Donaldson going to be able to foul this one off? No. Wentz hits him with the curveball and paints the corner beautifully. Fast forward in the inning, Miguel Sano is up to bat now. He's got the full count, one out. Wentz throws an inside pitch, and he strikes out Miguel Sano once again in the game. Unfortunately, Wenz's start did not last as long as I would have liked. By the fifth inning, he was pretty much gassed. As you see here, he walks Nelson Cruz, and I decided to call it a day for him. If there's one thing Wenz is going to need to develop over the course of this season, and probably next season, into next season I should say, he needs to develop his stamina. He needs to improve his stamina, because he's got to last longer than five innings if we want to start winning games in the near future for this game though he had an impressive start i'd say i'd say this is an impressive start in five innings seven hits allowed two earned runs given up which were a two run home run i didn't have the footage my apologies one base on balls but he did get six strikeouts which i was really happy about hopefully he can continue doing this in the future ladies and gentlemen welcome to quick bits thanks for watching